Hey guys, it's Cass, and welcome back to Shadowcraft SMP episode 4, where we have mushrooms, which is completely me changing my idea. Originally, I wanted to build out this huge tree, treehouse kind of idea, but then with this mod pack, realizing how many different colored mushrooms existed, I couldn't help it and I was able to find some mycelium in this like random patch uh, which was like a gravestone which is another mod that's we've added to this and I've just been spreading it and letting it grow and I'm like selling it in my shop and yeah I just even in the nether which I do show in here at some point I was able to find some different colored mushrooms in there and I just knew like I had to make basically this fairy circle. It's the only thing that has felt right and I'm not mad about the change in direction of kind of where this is going which is way different than my original plan but like I said it I'm I couldn't be any happier with it. So I'm just growing out all the mushrooms, trying to spread out like the initial fairy circle type setup. I keep getting punched in the face. Um, and I think originally when I was doing this, I kind of felt more like I should actually be raising blocks to grow them. But then I also come to and you'll see that I want to make the entire ground made out of mycelium. So I end up chopping all of this back, which you will see in a time lapse a little bit later with some replay mod. So you can kind of check out where my idea is going and I'm just so in love with it. And I just can't wait to build my house because I still haven't done that yet. I've just now begun like, I have the little garden shed type setup. I have my farm and then I have my enchantment table kind of area and the shop. But everything's very open and mixed in with the copper that you kind of see all over. I need to find a way to blend that in. Um, and I haven't exactly thought up how I want everything to look but here in the nether we take a quick pit stop because I had seen again within our mod pack this teal colored mushroom that I hadn't seen anywhere else and I know I have to come and get it so that's the current journey right here <laughs> And I take shroom lights as well off a few different places and I would love to put two beneath each mushroom currently. I only have one underneath some of them, but I'm hoping that I can get that situated and all lit up in the future. That's definitely a goal. And then I bring those beautiful teal mushrooms out and start spreading them out as well. Love teal and orange, my favorite color combo, so I knew they had to go next to each other. And then I also found these like dark gray ones. And it's just kind of meshing all together and I love it so much. Love that that one turned out extra tall. I wish they all worked that way, but I accept them for however they grow. And then I felt like we needed to take just a quick break to do some diamond mining because I need to be visiting other people's shops and figuring out what they're selling and supporting their, I guess, the economy in our little SMP. Um, and I really didn't have that many diamonds to begin with, but we end up with a pretty decent amount here in total, which I loved finding these ones just out in the open like that. I don't feel like I ever get that lucky. I always have to strip mine, but in total we end up with 40, which is epic.
kind of where your back up and you see in the top left corner that I'm recording for the replay mod and I'll roll that footage now. I feel like it's pretty obvious that I knew I needed to take everything down a bit since I wanted the mushrooms to be taller, like I said. Um, and so I knew a couple layers, I ended up taking it down three layers, but on the third layer is where I end up putting mycelium. So you'll see that happening as well soon, but of course we have to clear out all of the dirt <laughs> and the stone. And this took about three or four Minecraft days to take care of, but now that I've ventured into the replay mod, I feel like it's going to be really fun utilizing that moving forward. And I did not even see these pillagers over here at all, not once, until reviewing the replay footage. But they never attacked me and I never noticed them, but I thought it was so funny to notice them in the replay footage as I was panning around trying to figure out what shot I wanted to get. But originally I started out with the mycelium trying to trace out kind of where I wanted the layers to go and I think I think I was a little crazy in the beginning thinking I needed to place down mycelium individually for everyone. And then I remembered that I would be able to do it over the stone as long as no grass was touching it. So that's what you see happening here. And I just put in a piece here and there and just time lapsed it spreading just to help fill up the space faster instead of having every piece individually be mycelium. Um, putting out a few blocks and letting it spread was much more helpful. And then I grew a few mushrooms and, you know, silk touched them so I'd be able to get the stems to be able to make these mushies taller. Which I feel like just fits the overall aesthetic more if you can walk underneath them versus not being able to do that. So that was pretty important to me. But I'm loving how my little fairy fort is coming together. And I can't wait to keep spreading the mycelium and then I think in the center here I'm going to end up building out a huge mushroom that I will build my house on or in. Excited, but I'm not exactly sure what the end result is going to be so you'll have to stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next Shadowcraft. Bye!